Good morning, guys. Just because you're you, because you're you. Good morning, good morning. Hey, love, how are you? Nah, last time I invited somebody to my video, that was very inappropriate. Just listen to the early morning music. Hola. Y'all like my pants? They different. Look. I thought these were kind of cool. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just want to listen to this song before I get into my shit. Hey. Just getting me some morning breakfast. Just because, just because, all because of you. And all of you. Hey, good morning. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Early morning. Grooving, grooving. music okay guys let's get with it oh my god thank you so much wait hold on let me roll it down thank you you have a blessed day you got to be nice to people that's preparing your food and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I just think some of these um, home country uh, kitchen restaurants, they need to use some damn gloves and shit. I don't know if you're digging in your damn nose. Shit. But um, I just saw something interesting, guys. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but I guess it's been circulating. And um, I'm just now seeing it. Um, did y'all guys see the thing? on the news where the police duct taped a black convicted felon from not talking. I'm like, wow, I wasn't gonna run your ass over yet. Wow, guys, so basically we duct taping people in the mouth and shit, huh? We duct taping people, huh? The police is basically telling people they can't talk no more, so now we duct taping people. That's what we doing. We duct taping people now, huh? And then a rapper came out with a song, No More Duct Tape. I thought that was kind of awesome, kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Let motherfuckers know. You know what I'm saying? We can't be shut up. You can't shut us up. We won't be shut up. We won't stop. We can't stop. We will not stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, guys, we duct taping people now, huh? What is your view on that? What is your view on that? Is it okay to duct tape people? It's okay for to tell people that they can't talk, they can't run their mouth, they can't yap their gums, 
They cannot defend themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically, um, it's okay to put us in jail. You know what I mean? It's okay to put us in jail. But it's not okay for us to sit there and basically fight for ourselves and say what is wrong. Like, wow. I thought that was kind of interesting. You want to duct tape motherfuckers now, huh? Hmm. I was going to come on here, guys, and talk about something totally different. Um, Just to let you guys know, if you guys do not see me on any media, it's because Mondays are not my best days. You don't want to think about it. Like, who wants to really get up and go to work on Monday? That's like school. Who wants to do all that extra shit? But, hey, it has to be done, especially when you become an adult. So, back to on hand. So, we duct taping people. What is your view on that? Like, I know you guys saw it. I know you guys are not blind to the facts. I'm surprised that it's not have or have not circulated all over the media. Like, I'm surprised because you guys be pretty much on it, especially my homeboy, John. His ass be on the shit. He be on it no duct tape and then some guy put a thing on on the rap talk about no duct tape yada 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 yeah you know what i'm saying no duct tape i thought that was kind of interesting um i came on here at first i was gonna come here and do a video um talking about um relationships and how i've been hanging out with my homeboys and stuff and how like damn some of you women are vicious some of you women are motherfucking vicious, like serious, like, you know what I'm saying? And then niggas run after you, you know what I'm saying? But I'm kind of stuck on the no duct tape thingy. Like, I wish a motherfucking police would put some fucking duct tape on my motherfucking mouth and tell me I can't talk. I'm going to talk through the motherfucker. I'm going to be all up in that damn duct tape talking a whole lot of shit on through that duct tape. I can't believe that. And it's so crazy, though. Y'all going gonna, gonna to look back on this video and y'all going to be like, damn, she was right. And and. And I was at City Hall, and I always say, when I go to City Hall, it's always two or things is happening. Somebody's getting a birth certificate, a death certificate, or somebody getting married. Them are all the three things that always happen when you go to, um, when you go to the, um, to the thing. So, basically, guys, like, I don't know, like, I think that was kind of disrespectful of the police to, uh, duct tape the man, um, uh, mouth. Uh, apparently the judge didn't say nothing, or he didn't see nothing, uh, was wrong with it. I see something wrong with it. Why you, I mean, you already about to put this man in jail. What was so hard about him being able to say what he wanted to say or open his mouth or, or whatever, or scream or whatever. Y'all already about to put the man in jail. See, I thought I was going to say the N word. Nope. It ain't even worth it no more. N word is, is supposed to be expression, but for not for this video. I don't think that was right. What you guys did to that man. He already going to jail. So you already just added to the problem. So basically you just made yourselves relevant again. Yes. Let's keep it 100. Police made themselves relevant. This is court police in the court office, whatever, duct taping a man mouth shut. Like basically you're telling this man to shut the fuck up. Boom. It's already crazy that Gucci man is fucking putting red faces on black people. Like, why did you do that? What was the fucking issue? And then you put some red tape on his mouth. Black face, red tape. You guys don't see that shit? Red face, red tape, black face. They just called that man a monkey. In the courtroom, and the judge didn't do nothing about it. They disrespected that man. Seriously. They did. Yeah. I'm, okay. Yeah, dis they disrespected that man. Seriously. Like, I don't have no. I, I'm like, I think the court system, police. Man, it's like I'm scared to get hurt. Don't let me be in an accident. I don't want no police, ambulance, nobody touching on me. Like, damn, I thought that was pretty fucked up. And it was crazy. It was red tape, guys. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm looking at the video. I saw the video. I wish I could show you the guys the video while I'm whatever. But, yeah, it was red tape. Like, you couldn't get no gray tape. You couldn't get no black tape. No, you had to get some red tape, black face, red tape. You guys don't see that shit? Like, if you don't see that shit, something's wrong with you. You know what I'm Think about that shit. Then you got Gucci Mane coming out with a uh, black face, red face. 
disrespectful. They are really disrespecting us. Since they can't beat us, they can't beat us any other way. You know what I mean? We're very, very advanced, very smart, very intelligent, got our shit together. So since you can't beat us, you want to disrespect us. Hello. Hello. I don't want you guys to think I'm ignoring you guys. I'm just really irritated about what I just saw right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm waving back, guys. I do apologize. I don't want you guys to think that I am ignoring you guys. There's no shade, no shade. You know what I mean? Mad love, mad love. I'm just kind of upset that they will do that. They will put that on that man's face. They put red tape on that man's face. It was like, damn, like you guys want to be irrelevant that damn badly that you guys will be that damn disrespectful. That was disrespectful, guys. They put red tape on the man's face, basically shut the fuck up. So we still don't have no rights. We already knew we didn't have no rights. We already knew all that shit was popping. We already knew all that shit. So it's not like it's anything new. It's not like it's anything different from what's been going on or what we've been dealing with on a daily basis anyway. What I just want to know is the man was only handcuffed. He was handcuffed already. That mean his hand was behind his back. Y'all got the handcuffs on him. All the fuck he can do is just talk. He can't hurt nobody. What he gonna do? Headbutt somebody? Bow! Like, I mean, what the fuck? He's handcuffed. So by you putting red tape on him, what was you thinking that what you was doing? What was you thinking you was doing? I know some of you guys gonna be like, damn, Izina be on one, bedroom eyes be on one, but that's some real shit. Like, I did not like that shit. I did not like it at all. Like, I wish I would be stopped by the police and then they put some red tape on my mouth and try to shut me off. I'm going to chew that motherfucking red tape off. Like, you're not going to disrespect me like that. I thought that was so wrong, so disrespectful, guys. Like, that's wrong. You police guys, come on, guys. I understand some of you motherfuckers was bullied back in the day, but there's no reason for you guys to be disrespectful. You know, you ready to go in now? Hi, sir. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. This your job right here? Yeah. You okay. ready to get in? Well, not yet. One more where I wanted that because I knew you was on the phone. I didn't, I don't like bothering nobody. No, you're fine. But the Lord knows I'm a good Christian. Yeah. I went in there. He's going to let me work next week in the computer shop. Okay. But I'm an honest guy. I got to be in Victorville um, by late this morning uh -huh. to get my three kids. I'm not asking for money. I'm willing to try to wipe the car down or... You know, the Bible says a man work ease, but can I ask you a Well, it's not a big but, deal, but, but, sir. If, if you work right here, look, I just moved out here from Moreno Valley. I got a big settlement in the mail right now. I will uh -huh. hook you up. Look, I will no, I'm not tripping up. about that, I'm guys. Go it's like, way, I can't, yeah, I can't give you anything from the job, but here, here go a couple of dollars. Okay. Here you a couple of dollars. Thank go you. get, you, go see your kids, sir. Right. Thank you, sweetie. What time you open on the weekday? I'm here normally earlier than this. I have to take care of a little business, but I'm here earlier than that. But you have a blessed one, sir. God bless you. God bless you, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm mad. I'm sorry. Okay, like, I'm not that bad. Because I'm always helping people. I'm going to be good, a good person no matter what. I'm going to be kind and kind-hearted no matter what. But what I'm saying is, guys, that's kind of, like, really, really disrespectful. Um... I got to catch my breath because I think I I did kind of low-key give myself an anxiety because I feel like that's messed up on how they're doing people. It's like, damn. It's like, first the government shut down. Then you got all this shit that's going on. And then, like, in the courtroom, the court of law, where a person should be able to have freedom of speech, you put some motherfucking duct tape on his motherfucking mouth. Like, are you serious? The motherfucker's already tied up, shackled and shit from head to toe. You can't do no more to him. And then you're going to do that? Oh, my God. Like, are you serious? Like, you better than me. I would have been doing something. Bam! Like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I'm already going to jail. I might as well hit a couple motherfuckers in the process. That shit is fucked up, dude. Like, fuck. Like, seriously. Like, I think that that's, like, really jacked up. That was messed up. That was unkind. That was, that was like, what the fuck was you thinking? Like, seriously. I, I... I felt like that was wrong. Like, excuse me, mom. I know you're on here. Sorry, ma. You know, sorry, but you know what I'm saying? You gonna put duct tape on us. You got our own black people and celebrities, as y'all call yourself, liking putting duct tape on people's faces and stuff. Y'all be thinking that stuff is cute. Ain't nothing cute about that. That's very disrespectful, police. 
You know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 very messed up, police. You know what I'm saying? And then you in a court of law. So I I, I mean I want to know what did the judge do? Did he do anything? Did he say anything? Did he even like even attempt to say, oh man, take the tape off the man? That's on the news. Like, dude, like I know someone caught that. Somebody caught that. Somebody put that on the news. Somebody put that up. Like, did that judge get in trouble for what he did? That was disrespectful. Like, he should have got in trouble, even the judge, the judge, the police, all of them should have got in trouble for what they did to that guy. I don't care what he did. I don't care what he did. He already going to jail. You already putting him in kitty jail so y'all can babysit him so y'all can make more money off of us. Like, you already doing this so you had to put some red tape on his mouth and think that shit was cool? Like, seriously? Like, dude... Okay, guys, look, share this video, guys. I'm going to get up out of here because I do got to get to work. But, guys, share this video. You know what I mean? Protest that shit. I think that shit is wrong. Don't buy no Gucci man, Uchi man, none of that shit with no black face on it. We done came too far, guys, too far. We done came too far to let people push us back. Too far. We we are, we 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 done stride it to do a whole lot of stuff. Education, you know what I mean. Movie stars, TV shows. We done came too far for these people to put us back in the box. Don't let nobody put you in no box. I know I for damn sure about to let nobody put me in no box. Y'all got me banging down on here like y'all got me fucked up. You gonna put some red tape on somebody's mouth like that shit is. Like that shit is cool. Like you see, you just caught that man a monkey, a gorilla, or whatever. You just put him back in the Stone Age. Y'all some disrespectful people. That's messed up. That's really messed up. You don't do that. That's messed up. That hurt my feelings when I saw that this morning. I had a whole nother segment, everything. I might do it tomorrow. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But I think that was messed up. That was really, 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 really fucking messed up, dude. You gonna put some man. Man, if I was that man, mama, man, I would have jumped over that thing and tucked that tape off my son's mouth. Like, you don't talk to my son like that. You don't do that to my son. He already going to jail. You don't disrespect my son like that. That's what's wrong. We need to come together. Y'all mothers and fathers, y'all need to be really on y'all children. Keep y'all kids out of trouble because y'all see what the system is doing to our children. And they don't care. Look what they doing. Look what they did to that boy. Put some red tape on that boy mouth and stuff. Thought that shit was cool. Like, I wish. Ooh. I, are you serious? Are you serious? Please. Please. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to calm down. I'm going to take my happy ass to work. And do my job. But I'm going to tell you guys this. I'm going to tell you guys this. Watch out for your husbands. Watch out for your boys. And even watch out for your girls. Because you just saw right there that they're putting us back. They trying to reverse the process. They trying to send us back to where it was okay to disrespect us. And it is not okay to be disrespected. It is not. I don't care if you a convict. I don't care if you did something wrong, immoral, whatever. Let God take care of that. But when you sit there and you let man disrespect you, when I mean man, I don't care what gender you are because we tend to disrespect each other. Not to say that it's right, but it's not right. But that right there, hmm, hmm, that right there, hmm, on a whole nother level. You humiliated that boy. You disrespected that boy. You really did take it to a whole nother level. A whole nother level. And I pray to God that everybody that sat there that did not do anything. Because if I was there, I would have did something. I would have said something. That's not right. You don't put us back in a box. You already about to put that man in a cage. So you're going to disrespect him by putting some tape over his mouth. Like, serious? Need that ass whooped. Remember, y'all, all, all you police and all you got to remember, you still human. You put your uniform on one leg at a time. This is a job. This is a job that you do. And it's kind of really fucked up that it's okay for you guys to be on your cell phones, 
be disrespectful, cuss out people, rape people, disrespect people, punch people, choke out people, take out your motherfucking baton and hit on people, take out your taser and tase people, stuff, and do all this disrespectful stuff to us. But we still supposed to take that shit and act like that shit is okay. But the moment someone get pissed off and retaliate and do something wrong, then it's an all out war. So like I said in my previous videos, we are not the gang bangers. We not the hood chicks and the hood niggas and the hood people. The police is the motherfucking gang bangers. You just saw that shit right there when that motherfucker put tape over that man's face. You know who the real ruthless wannabe gang bangers are. They put their uniform on and because they got a badge and got a gun, they can just do what they want to do. But everything comes to an end. Who is last will be first and who is first will be last. So y'all better stop fucking with us. We ain't did nothing that terrible for you guys to do that. And that was freedom of speech. That man was already locked up. There's no more that you could do to that man. So you should have let that man talk. Dumb motherfuckers. And I'm out this bitch. Hanging out with bedrooms all, uh, bedroom eyes. More videos to come.